Welcome to Log Furniture How To, the most all inclusive site on the net for log and rustic furniture, fixtures, and decor. That's logfurniturehowto.com. Oh, hey there, welcome back. Check this out. Yeah, it looks like we just got our new LED lights in from our friends over at Super Bright LEDs. Yeah, let's see what we got here. If you saw last week's video, you'll know we're working on that entryway light. And these are the LEDs we're going to use. Yep. And thanks to the excellent customer support over there at superbrightleds.com, looks like we've got everything we need, including this remote control, to start moving forward with this project. So let's grab one of these lights and head on over here, and I'll show you how this is going to work. Yeah, so if you remember from last week, we were cutting and welding on these two base plates. And you can see, I've taken it a step further since you were here. So while I take time to start welding on these adjustable feet, why don't you watch a few of these video clips to see how we got it to this point. adjustable feet. And just thread them on, get them centered, tack it in place. Then weld them off. that we've already drilled out for the lights. Here you can see a little better what I'm talking about. These are the mounting brackets for these lights. You can see they just slip on like that. So we've taken time to drill out some quarter inch holes so that we have a fully adjustable place to mount the lights once inside the housing. So you can see here, I've already taken time to mark out where we want these. And you'll see that then we'll come in and have the light mounted right within the circle on the plate that goes on top. So let's get these things welded on here. And now, we just weld on this next plate. We've got it oriented here. Weld this one into place. See, I've just got it set up on a temporary little workstation there. Now we can sit over here and weld this thing up. All right then. Now's when the fun really began. Yep, so here you can see I've been cutting a variety of different pieces of half inch rod. And we've taken time to taper each edge. Let's take them on over here and I'll show you what we got going on. Yep, here you go. We've mocked this thing up. I've got it on the base. Let's talk about how we're going to finish it out. Look at that light working in there, and that's only one of them. So I want this thing to look pretty organic, you know? And So what I have in mind is to take this half-inch rod and start welding them together in all sorts of different faceted triangles and shapes, working our way around this Once thing. Once we have a skeleton welded up, using this half inch rod, then we're going to take this eighth inch plate and cut all our shapes out to fill in all the way around. So enough of all this talk already, let's get this thing off of here and get back to work. 
And to do that, one of the first things we're going to do is weld a little access hole back here where we can reach in and bolt on that log once we're done. So we're going to start right here. And of course, as we start to fill this thing in, we're going to have to take measurements and go over there and cut us some more rod. Need one here at nine and three eighths. And with this new saw, and you know how easy that is. Yep, we'll just take a minute to champ for these edges. We'll be good to go. Looks like the perfect fit. So now that we've established our access hole over here, we gotta put a place for the cord to come out. We're gonna do that right here. Well, that's coming right along. Now I appreciate you taking time to watch this video. Be sure to click subscribe and come on back next time and we'll keep going on this project. This has been Mitchell Dillman with LogFurnitureHowTo.com. We'll see you again next week.